final match to Egypt's Mohamed El Shorbagi. Now, the defending champion, Sheffield's Nick Matthew, takes on Rami Ashur later tonight. Good luck to him. It has, of course, been a very difficult year for farmers. Many are having to diversify, even to survive. But one group will soon celebrate a decade of supporting their beleaguered industry. The singing farmers got together to raise money for the Royal Ag Agricultural Benevolent Institution. They now combine working on the land with the world of show business. Charlotte Leeming went along to see them perform in a rather unusual place. <laughs> A busy morning buying and selling at the Selby Livestock Auction Mart. Amongst the crowd is Ken Jackson, a fourth generation beef farmer from near Pontefract. How much are you going to get for that? As much as I can. <laughs> as much as these lads are going to give me. Today his bull failed to get the price he wanted. There's no time to dwell on that as Ken now has to switch from farmer to performer because for one day only this auction mart is becoming the latest venue for a gig by the singing farmers. Here comes my happiness again. Right back to where it should have been. Cause she is gone and I am free. And she can't do a thing to me. The group was set up a decade ago by singer Chris Berry. He wants to help raise money for the rural community following the outbreak of foot and mouth. But he had no idea how popular the concerts were to become. I can't believe that we've actually got to 10 years of it anyway in the first place because it, it's just, people really enjoy what we're doing. It's, it, it brings, it's, it's been regarded as a social community thing now where, where people come every year and look forward to it every year. If you should see her. The other members of the group were busy at work today, but Chris and Ken were in Selby to drum up support for their anniversary tour next year. Ken told me how he got involved in the first place. Well, one day Chris Perry rang me up and asked me if he said he was organising one concert. And would we do this uh, one concert? Would I go and join them? There were four of them, I believe, then. And I said, yeah, sure, yeah. So that four, and I think we've done uh, 40 now. Would you imagine it would last this long? No, I, I didn't think we'd get first one over, to be quite honest, no. <laughs> so far, the singing farmers have made around £100,000 for charity. And at a time when the farming industry is struggling, the group isn't just raising money, they're also boosting morale. Charlotte Lee Ming, BBC Look North, Selby. Come on, Hudson, sing the forecast for us.